Hi, I'm Jana Free, a self-love life coach, and today let's talk about a difference of opinions. So one quirky little thing about me is I cringe at the thought of shoes being worn inside my house. And for some people, they think Shh, Jana's crazy. Crazy Jana, we're going to crazy Jana's house and she's gonna make us take off our shoes. Yes, I am, unless you have a foot problem that requires you to wear orthopedic shoes. I'm gonna probably ask you to take off your shoes. Um, it's just this thing that I have, and I won't get into the backstory, but I have my reasons for not wanting shoes on in my house. And so whenever I start judging someone else and I think they're pretty crazy for that, I have to get myself in check and say, Jana, they have their reasons, just like you have your reasons for not wanting shoes on in the house. And so I want you to apply this mentality to everything that's going on in the media, everything going on with the vaccine and COVID and quarantine and masks and uh, politics and people running for different things. I just want you to know everyone has their reasons just like you. You have your reasons. Your reasons for what you believe are valid. Other people's reasons for what they believe, they are valid as well. No one is wrong. Maybe you're both wrong. Maybe you're both a little right and a little wrong. It doesn't matter. The more that you hold on to being right, the more that you are just so sure you have to be right, the more unhappy you are. When you are just so committed to, I have to be right, and then you're scrolling social media and you're like, they're wrong, they're wrong, they're wrong, then it doesn't help your happiness level go up. It does not help your mood. So the harder that you hold on to being right, the more unhappy you will be. And just remember that others hold their beliefs just as strongly as you do. So what do you do? Validate yourself. When you feel like no one else understands. Yeah, sometimes people don't understand my reasons for not wanting shoes on in the house. <laughs> but that's okay, I know my reasons. I, I've got me, it's okay, I love me. I love me anyway, even my little quirks, it's okay. When we have our own back and we don't need people to understand, if they do understand, great. That's just cherry on top. But I don't need that because I validate myself. So when you just validate yourself kindly and you're loving yourself first, then that helps you to lovingly accept other people and let them have their beliefs because their beliefs are valid. They hold them just as strongly as you hold yours, and that's okay. And the world still goes round. Crazy, right? <laughs> if you would like some help to dig into these beliefs that you have, maybe you want to help loosen your grip on them a little bit, that is the perfect job for me as a life coach. I would love to give you a free consultation to see how I can help you more, see if we are a good fit for each other. And you can schedule that at my website, coachwithjana.com.